Welcome back. How's life? Sorry about the interruptions. I just thought the bell schedule, you, you know, it's nostalgia to hear one bell, but to hear all the things and everything going on, you don't need all that. We're back. We're still talking. We were just finished up where water is in the hydrosphere, comes down and erodes rocks and reshapes riverbeds and all that interacts with the geosphere. That's the way those two interact. Think of some examples of how all the spheres interact. The hydrosphere and the atmosphere. The atmosphere and the geosphere. Anything, the, the biosphere and all of the plants and animals are in the biosphere. That's an easy way to get interaction with all the others, okay? But right now, let's talk about something a little different, okay? We're going to talk about greenhouse gases, okay? Two major greenhouse gases, carbon dioxide and methane, all right? Those are the two gases that do the most to trap sunlight. So the greenhouse effect, in a real short way, is not what you get, is what is what you get in a hot car, but it's a little different, okay? Hot car. Sunlight can travel through glass, okay? Sunlight can't travel through a wall. Radio waves can travel through glass. Radio waves can travel through a wall, but radio waves can't travel through certain things. So we got to think of this. Different colors of light can travel through different things. Just like all the light we see with our eyes is stopped by a wall. Bell. is stopped by a wall. Different materials can stop different colors of light. Regular light goes into your car. It hits the seat. The seat absorbs the energy and gets hot. Now that the seat is hot, the seat actually, think, think molten metal. Molten metal glows red or orange or white hot, depending on its temperature. So depending on the temperature, your seat's glowing hot. It's just so cold that the color it glows at isn't a color our eyes see. But it does glow. The light it re-emits as it glows can't get through glass. And you're like, I can see right through glass. Why can't this light go through glass? Just like our light can't go through a center block wall, but a radio wave could. This is just a different color, and it can't go through glass. So when sunlight comes in, it heats the seat. Seat glows hot in infrared, and the infrared can't get back out through the glass. So you're adding and adding and adding and adding and adding heat all the time, and the car is glowing inside, and that's it warming up. Works inside a glass roof greenhouse or a car. Our atmosphere is similar. Our atmosphere, light comes in, warms the earth, and the atmosphere blocks some of that heat energy because the energy it warmed the earth. So now the earth is glowing a real low color, one that our eyes can't see, is glowing, and that starts to come up and radiate out. And some, some of that is blocked by the atmosphere. And the more carbon dioxide and the more methane are in our atmosphere, the more of that that's blocked. And so the earth warms. There has always been carbon dioxide. There has always been methane. There has always, as long as Earth has been around. Those have always been in the atmosphere. There are differences, though. Let's. I want you to see this image right here. All right. So, a couple things to look at. First of all, red, the red lines. You look to your left over here to measure the temperature. The blue lines... You look over here on the y-axis. It's weird because you're plotting two things over the same time. And so you want to... Well, it looks like we're almost out of time. Let's do one more video. This will be fast.